Hey everyone, welcome to Booster Shooter. I'm Brandon, and we've moved on to green for our top 10 common uncommons for Omicot Sealed for pre release. That was a mouthful. Anyway, so let's get started right away. Number 10, Trial of Strength. This is two and a green for an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, create a 4 2 green beast creature token. When a cartouche enters the battlefield under your control, return Trial of Strength to its owner's hand. All right, so three mana for a 4 2 token. That's fine. It's going to die to some 2-2s two once in a while, but also can just get in for 4 mana, which is nice. The fact that you can bounce it with a Cartouche, and a Cartouche is like those enchantment auras. The green one's really good. You'll see it higher on the list. So the fact that you can bounce it with that and keep making 2-2s, two I mean, you'll probably do it like once or twice if you have enough. But even doing it just once, hey, it's pretty good. So that's why it's at number 10, cart um, Trial of Strength, sorry. <laughs> and number 9, Greater Sandworm. Five green green for a creature worm to seven seven. It can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less cycling two. All right. Now you're saying seven mana for a seven seven. Yeah, that's fine, but that's seven mana. That's a lot. Ah, yes, but this is sealed and it goes way longer than draft. And the cycling two helps so much. Opening hand, you have this. You're like, oh crap, um, my hand's pretty good, but I have a seven drop here. Oh wait, I can just cycle it for two early game, who cares? And then maybe you have a way to return that creature. Maybe you don't, doesn't matter, because you can just cycle it for two and draw a card. Uh, you get later in the game and you have seven mana, it's freaking great. Like just hitting with a seven, seven that can be chump blocked, that's great. Uh, that's why it's number nine. It's, you're not gonna run more than one, I'm guessing, but the cycling two, maybe you will, but probably not. Uh, that's it's number nine. So, Greater Sandworm. Number eight, Synchronize Strike. Two and a green for an instant, untap up to two target creatures. They each get plus two, plus two until end of turn. All right, three mana combat tricks I don't usually like, but the fact that this untaps two creatures and gives them each plus two, plus two, and exert is a thing in this, I really like it. Uh, that's just like you attack with two, two, twos. They don't block, they take eight damage, and they get to untap and block next turn. They do block, and you get to, uh, you know, just kill their creatures. You did some kind of exert thing, and now you get to exert next turn again. Really good. Like it. Three mana. Seems like a lot, but for what it does, I think it's pretty fairly costed. That's why it's number eight. Synchronized Strike. Number seven. Quarry Holler. Three and a green for a creature camel. Hey, It's a four, three. When it enters the battlefield, for each kind of counter on target permanent, put another counter of that kind on it, or remove one from it. So this is for the counters deck, minus one, minus ones, sometimes plus one, plus one, but not, I don't think actually. Uh, so basically it comes into play, four mana for four, three, that's good. You get to either add a minus one, minus one to your opponents or remove one from one of yours because a lot of the cards make you put one, minus one, minus one counters on your creatures. So yeah, I really like this card in the green deck because there's going to be minus one, minus one counters going around anywhere because green for some reason has that. I don't really like it. It doesn't feel like green to me making your things smaller, but that's what they decided to go for green black. That's why I like this card because it just kind of helps out make this film more green. So quarry hauler, and number seven. Number six, Shafet Monitor. Five in a green for a six five creature lizard cycling three in a green. When you cycle Shafet Monitor, you may search your library for a basic land card or a desert card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So six mana for six five. That's fine. I mean, if you're a green deck, going late, sealed, which it does, that's a good beater. If it's late, uh, early game and you're out of mana, like you're stuck on turn four with nothing, no mana in your hand, cycle this, get your mana. I mean, it kind of sucks that you're getting a mana to eventually play this card, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Draw a card also could be something better. You never know. I like it just because, um, you know, early game, well, early mid game, it's really good for you. Ramps you up. Late game, it's a pretty good beater. It's just very efficient. So that's why it's my number six, Shifet Monitor. And number five, Scaled Behemoth. Four green green for a six seven hexproof. What? So six mana for a six seven, that's crazy. That's like really good beater. The fact that they can't interact with it at all, uh, just like blanks removal. The only way they can kill it is with a death touch or just, you know, Gang blocking it to kill your 6 7. I love this guy. This reminds me of the uh, one from Battle for Zendikar. It was like, I think a 6 7 also with Hexproof and Trampled. That was much better. But I mean, 
I love this guy. He's just going to keep getting in there. Yeah, they could chump block it, but eventually they're going to run out of blockers. Ah, I really want to play with this card. So that's why it's my number five, Scaled Behemoth. So good. Number four, Naga Vitalist. One in a green for a 1-2 Naga Druid. Tap, add to your mana pool, one mana and any type that a land you control could produce. Two mana mana ramp. Love those. Um, sadly, you can't do one mana, but basically think of it as like uh, two mana, tap it to add green because you're going to have to play green anyway. You'd play that. It's a one, two, so it's not the best blocker, like a one, three, but I'll take any mana ramp, especially in this, which it's sealed, going to go long. You're going to just get your big creatures out there. Anything that gets them out faster, great. Always love these cards. Always high on my list. That's why it's number four, Naga Vitalist. Number three, Cartouche of Strength. Told you to be here. Didn't think it would be that high, did you? Two and a green for a Enchantment Aura Cartouche. Enchant creature you control. When it enters the battlefield, you may have Enchanted Creature fight target creature and opponent controls. Enchant Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has Trample. All right. So for three mana, you're getting, you know, Prey Upon, which is fine. That's a good removal for green. And you're also pumping your guy, and if it lives, which it probably will, uh, it has trample. So you put it like on a 4-4, four, four, fight something. Don't know if you want to attack because, you know, it's already taking some damage. But then it's like a 5-5 five, five trample. That's so good. Like green is really light on the removal for this set. Like, you know, just fight cards and stuff. It has minus one, minus one counters, which, I don't know, it seems really slow. Like you're just going to be chipping away. It feels like it was want to do like more combat tricks and stuff, which I'm not a big fan of. So whenever I have a way just to play a card and get rid of their creature, I love it. That's why it's higher on my list for this set. Usually it would probably be a little bit lower just because it's enchantment aura. But the fact that you get to fight a card, love it. And that's why it's number three, Cartouche of Strength. Number two, Exemplar of Strength. One in a green for a 4-4. Four -four. Okay, what's the downside? When air is a battlefield, put three minus one minus one counters on target creature you control. Whenever it attacks, remove a one counter from it. If you do, gain a life. Two mana for a four four is great. Two mana for one one when it attacks, it's a two two and you gain a life. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, two mana for two two that when it attacks, gain a life. I'd play that. But uh, the fact that you can just put this on like one creature like a 1-1, one, one, it dies, and you have a 4-4 four, four for 2. If you play on turn 2, oh, jeez. That's just going to beat and just win you the game, basically. Uh, yeah, the downside is it can be killed pretty easily, but I'll take the chance on a 2-mana creature. Like, who cares? Yeah, you killed it. You used a removal spell to get rid of my 2-mana guy. So, I really like this guy. I think he's just efficient. He will, has a way to put counters on him and then remove them. So, if he has like one counter on him and you have something else you want to put a counter on him, put it on him, attack, it's gone. I mean, he's a good dumper for that too. So that's why he's so high on the list. Number two, Exemplar of Strength. And our number one card is Crocodile of the Crossing. Three and a green for a 5-4 Crocodile with haste. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control. Okay, so for 4 mana, you're getting a 4-3 with haste. That's great. I would play that any day. For 4 mana, you could also get a 5-4 with haste, which is crazy because you can just put this on any other creature you want. Put on your exemplar strength. Good on commons you got, by the way. Uh, so then whenever they both attack, you're attacking with a 5-4 with haste. And maybe he only had 1 counter on him, so a 4-4 four four now. So it just... So good. <laughs> Just so efficient. Like, ah, wow, wow. I love that card. Uh, green is very green again. These All these colors are their basic set, like how just they feel usually. Uh, the lack of removal for green kind of sucks, I feel like. I don't really like the Mice with Mice theme in this color. I like it more in black. It makes more sense there. But put them together, you're going to do fine. I would play green any day because it has such good beaters. So... There we go. If you want to follow me on Twitter, booster underscore tutor, and see you next draft.